Fabricating a full arch prosthesis from Bruxer solid zirconia requires significant time, labor, materials, and milling capacity. That is why it is important to verify the fit, occlusion, aesthetics, and functionality of the provisional appliance, milled from polymethyl methacrylate, or PMMA. Because the PMMA material can easily be adjusted, it can be scanned and replicated, ensuring that the final prosthesis mirrors the form and function of the temporary appliance. Beginning from when the lab receives the doctor-approved setup, multiple scans are performed, including the master cast, the wax setup on the master cast, and the master cast with scanning abutments in place. The CAD CAM software automatically combines the digital data collected in these scans to produce a highly accurate digital rendering of the master cast and final setup, including the positioning and orientation of the implants. Next, CAD software is used to fine-tune the prosthetic design, including occlusal contacts, incisal edges, gingival margins, and the access holes where the titanium inserts will be placed. The prosthesis is digitally readied for fabrication and is then milled from a block of PMMA. Following milling, the provisional prosthesis is removed from the PMMA block. A handpiece is used to first remove the sprues from the provisional prosthesis and then touch up the incisal edges and gingival areas in order to achieve desired aesthetics. It is then mounted onto the articulated master cast to verify proper fit and occlusion. Due to the CAD CAM design process, the alignment of the inserts along with the fit and bite of the provisional do not typically require adjustment. Next, the provisional prosthesis is sandblasted in preparation for staining. It is then steam cleaned to ensure a particulate free and sanitary surface prior to staining. Lastly, stain is applied to the gingival areas and glaze is applied to the entire surface of the provisional prosthesis to give a more natural looking appearance during patient confirmation of the definitive design.